Hi guys, welcome to Girocaster, Albania. Last stop in Albania. So last time I talked to you guys, I was in Hidama. Um, I decided to stay one more day there because I have the time. So wanted to relax and not rush out the very next day. So anyways, um, after I last talked to you guys, I hiked a little bit more around the trails. I was randomly just like walking around, not really sure where they were going because we weren't even on the map actually. Um, like at one point I was climbing up and then looked over and this lady was standing there. So I was probably sort of in her yard anyways, or near there, but eventually got back on this main street and um, was able to follow that path to the other side of that viewpoint I was at before and got more amazing views. So that was really nice. Um, the next day, I actually went with the guy that runs the hostel because I was the one, only one there. So he was able to like show me around the area. Um, it worked out really well. It was kind of like when I was in Pitvica and ended up being the only one at that hostel. And then anyways, hung out with the guy that was like working there. So anyways, we went to this one beach, which you wouldn't even know it was there. You just like pull off the side of the road and walk down a little bit. And it's this really pretty beach area. Um, the water was like really blue and clear, really pretty. So hung out there for a bit. And then um, afterwards we went to Ali Pasha Castle, which is this castle in that area. Um, it was in really good shape. I'm actually kind of surprised like the one over there and the one I'm at right now are maintained really well. So walked around there a bit um, and then afterwards we ended up going to this little village called Buno because he had to like go there for a quick work thing. So anyways just kind of like walked around that area a little bit. It was cute um, just like houses and stuff on the hillside. So check that out a bit. And then yesterday came to Girocaster. So explored the town a bit yesterday. Um, first I kind of went like down into the town, which is the newer area, which isn't that nice actually. Like I didn't really know yet what were the things to see. So I just started walking around. Um, yeah, so that area like wasn't super nice. And then I kind of like looked at things on the map to see you know what were the things to see and then checked out some old historic homes that have been converted into museums so just kind of walked around there and um, didn't go inside but from there you could get a lot of really good views of the city and um, apparently one of them used to be from a famous author from here and another one I think was like want to say the former dictator um not one of the ones i went to but one of the houses around here and um today i've been exploring a lot more so i've been able to check out the rest of the town which is the more historical part of the town which is when you're going like up the mountain following these little stone streets so all the historical stuff it's made of stone um and anyways, the architecture is like specific to this area. This whole area is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So, explored a bit, um, went to this former Turkish bath and also checked out this Greek church because we're like right on the border. Um, there's a pretty big Greek population from what I remember hearing. And then walked around where they have these shops and things that are really cute that's like obviously the touristy area. Um, so it was quite a drastic difference between like the new part of the town and the cute part of the town where you can tell is where all the tourists hang out. Um, and they have shops and all that stuff. It's like a bazaar area. And then now I'm at the Girocaster Castle. So, um, which is also in really good shape, really nice. Just been exploring this and um, learning about the history a bit. So, Good way to learn and they're also super cheap and a great view of the city so it's like why not so let me show you real quick the views from the castle and of the castle so these were the views that i was talking about really really nice of the whole city 
stadium down below and part of the inside of the castle. So they still use that stage for a folkloric festival they have here every year. I think a jazz festival I read too. And here's some more of the castle. So that's about it for now. Um, I think later, well actually I'm thinking about stopping by this place I saw earlier with a nice view and just chill there for a bit. Um, and later at the hostel I'm staying at, they make traditional food. Um, so I'm thinking of having dinner there and I heard it's really good and tried a little thing yesterday. Traditional food here they make is their meatballs and rice balls, they're fried. And I tried one of the meatballs yesterday, it was really good. So that's the plan. And tomorrow I'm headed to Greece to Ionina, I believe is the name. Um, and I'll probably stay there a couple of nights, but I'll fill you in once I get there. So talk to you soon from Greece. Bye.